modern fashion designers you welcome back to class this is modern woman apparel i want to thank all my subscribers and if this is your first time seeing us you're highly welcome please join us by clicking on the subscribe button turn on your notification bell so as to get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you so in today's class we're going to be making this very beautiful ruched skirt we also have a detailed tutorial of this off shoulder top with puff sleeve on this channel the link to the tutorial is on the comment section for this class you'll be needing your high waist round measurement of course you know we're making a high waist skirt so and you also be needing your high waist to your hip length your hip circumference and um the length of your skirt so without wasting much of your time let's get right into the tutorial of the day so guys, we are going to be cutting directly on the fabric. I'm making use of a clear fabric and I'm using two yards for this. Now, as you can see, I have placed my fabric on fold. I'm cutting the front part first. So, and I also made sure that um, the right part of this fabric is facing up, which means that I'll be making all my markings on the right part of this. And that also means that I'll be using a chalk that I can easily erase out of the fabric. Please don't use a chalk that is difficult to erase so i've also gone ahead here to mark um to come down from this starting line here by 0 0.75 you can also come down by 0 0.5 if it's okay by you because i'll be using it to hem the other part so 0 0.75 is just okay for me now from this um starting line here which is also from this new line i made here which is my waistline i'll come down by 10 inches so the hip length i'm working with is 12 inches but because i'm going to be attaching a two inches waistband to this i have to remove the two inches from the 12 inches so what i have here is 10 inches so the length of the skirt is um 26 i removed two inches from it for the waistband and i have 24. so this 24 i have here i'll also double it which means that i'll be taking 48 i hope you understand so after taking the vertical measurement we'll start taking the round measurement now come to the waist here divide the waist measurement by four i'm working with waist 32 divided by four will give me eight here i'll come to the hip line here divide what i have by four i'm working with hip 40 divided by four is 10 so the same thing i have on the hip line here i'll take it straight down to the length of the skirts that will connect after this connection what i'm going to do now is um to measure what i have left here from this on this hip line here i'll measure what i have left so i'm having 6.5 so i'll come to this waistline here and measure the same 6.5 note that this butterfly area can be more than 6.5 but i'm just making do with what i have left of the fabric so i'll connect so to make it even, I'm still going to make sure that all the parts I have here is still the same 6.5. After confirming that, what I'm going to do now is to cut this out. So you can see what I have here before I cut it out. Let me show you what I have. This is the hip, this is the length, and this is the additional length I added to it. So you can see. And what I have here is the same 6.5 I have all through for the butterfly. After cutting it out, this is what I have. So what I'm going to do is to flip it to the other side here and still put the same markings you have on this side. So the same markings I have on this side, you can still see it on the other side. So let's say I made the first one on the right side. I'll still flip it to the left side and still make the same markings on the left side this is where the waistline started before this um, butterfly extension so i'm going to make a notch there from this starting line here to this line after this what i'll do is to place this on the back fabric add my zipper allowance and cut this out i'll still show you how to do that so as you can see i have laid the back part this is my one inch for the zipper allowance so i placed the front part starting from those one inch of the zipper allowance so what i'm going to do now is to cut this out after cutting it out the same notch i made here i'll still make the same notch on the back part 
After cutting, what we are going to do now is to start stitching. So first of all, this is the back part here. This is the front part. So, and this is where my zipper allowance is. What I'm going to do is to determine the, the length of my zipper. Remember I said I'll be attaching a 2 inches band to this. So the length of my zipper is 8 inches. So I'm going to remove 2 inches from the 8 and I'll have 6 inches. So from here I'll mark 6 inches here. Now I'm going to take this um, back part here to my sewing machine. From this starting line here to this 6 inches here. I'm going to use a loose stitch for it. And when I get to this place I'll use the regular stitch for this side. Reason is because I'm still going to remove the stitches I have on this part. After joining the zipper part here, so what we are going to do is to pick either the front or the back. So this is the front part. This, remember this is the right part. We made the marking on the right part of this. So I'll turn it to the wrong part here. This is the waistline. You can see the notch that we made. So I'll fold here. Till I get to that notch to the end of the notch that is why I did 0 0.75 here remember so but if you can fold this with half an inch all you need to do is to put half an inch here not 0 0.75 so what I'll do is to fold and stitch all around I'll stitch this top part here this side the hem of this to the other side and I'll stop here so the only part I'm not going to stitch is from this notch here to this other notch so the actual waist measurement I'm not going to stitch it as you can see I've already done it on this other part here I started from the notch I made and I stitch all through to the sides to the hem of this and I went up and um, stopped at um the notch I made. So the only part I didn't stitch is um the waistline. So this is the actual waist measurement. I didn't stitch on the part here. After folding the sides, this is what we have here. So what we are going to do now is to place the back and the front wrong side facing each other. That means the right side is facing up. And as you place, you can see that these two notches here, the front notches are, are matching up. You can see what we have here. So what I'm going to do now is to come to this side. You see the lines we have here. Remember when we are cutting this out. So what I'm going to do now is to stitch on this line straight down. After stitching, I'll go out again from this mark here by half an inch. This way. Straight down. And I'll also see this is for us to create a casing for the elastic or string we are going to use for this. So when you do it on this side, you also do it on this other side. You stitch here and also create half an inch, go out by half an inch to enable you create your casing. I hope you understand. So I'll do that and show you what we are going to do next. After stitching, you can see what I have. You can see the first stitch here and you can see the second stitch. So in between these um, two stitches is a uh, casing. Now what I'm going to do next is to attach the band here. So this is the band I have here. The length of the band is 5 inches. That means 2.5 inches on fold, 2 inches for the band, while half inch is for the joining. And now for this part here, remember I used them. I came down by 0 0.75. What I'm going to do now is to trim it down to 0 0.5. So whatever you use there, if you use 1 inch here, because of the folding you will have here. So after everything, what you do is to trim it down to half inch, except you use half inch for this part here. That is when you are going to leave it to. So I'm going to remove 0 0.25 from this to enable this um, joining here, the joining allowance of this skirt and the joining allowance of the band to be equal. So I'll just trim at 0 0.25. So guys, after this, what I'm going to do is to open the loose stitch I have on the zipper side. So I'm going to open it up here. Having done that, what I'm going to do is to bring my band here and stitch all around. After attaching the band here, what I'm going to do now is to attach my zipper here. After attaching the zipper, this is what I have. So what I want you to note is that if you're making use of a stretchy fabric, before you attach the zipper, you... Infuse your interfacing on the wrong part of this skirt. And after everything, please make sure you search with all the raw edges. 
So what we are going to do now is to attach our string so you can make use of an elastic but for me i want to make use of this string because it helps me to maintain the length of this case the length of my string is 20 inches remember the band is already carrying two inches so i'm supposed to use 24 inches for the string but i subtracted four inches from it so i have 20 inches i'll still tell you why what i'm going to do now is to insert it in this um casing we already have here so one for the left hand side and one for the right hand side After attaching my string, this is what I have. So you can see why I shortened my string by four because of the curve I want to have here. So this part here is the 26 and I want to have this um, curve here. If I use the exact length on this, this part will be longer than 26. So that is exactly why I have to shorten the length of the string so that I can have this curve here. This part will go in Why this part will be the 26 for the length of this skirt. I hope you understand. So I'm going to put this on my mannequin. Let's see what we have. So guys, you can see what we have. You can see our skirt looking so beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget we have the making of this or show that top with post sleeve right on this channel. You will find the link to the tutorial on the comment section. And if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, please take a second to hit on the subscribe button, like, comment, and share this video. I'll see you in my next class. I'm Modern Woman. Bye for now.